I, I wanted to ask though because I, I I don't follow it closely, but I do follow Dick on Twitter, and I see lots of huh. lots of hot takes on COVID. Like I want to I want to oh. get your your catch up on the Ooh. virus and everything because <laughs> I really I enjoy it. I enjoy. How much time do you have? Uh, four hours. <laughs> so this is, is this going to be as heated as the circumcision debate? I hope. <laughs> I think are there a lot of uh, are there a lot of grandma lovers in here simping for grandma that wanted to shut the economy down in the first place? Real quick, um, before Dick grandma? goes, Taylor, are you on Wi-Fi or something? Your camera and no, audio no. hardwired in. Dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm on my desktop. Okay. Simping right. for grandma. Tell me more. Simping Dick. for grandma. Oh, <laughs> we can't risk when I when it first started. So I had a I had a live show planned. It's like 300 tickets sold. I had an illegal liquor salesman all set up for a show downtown. <laughs> LA. It's you know, like Epstein's Island. Is that, is that what you're doing? You know what's <laughs> fucked? It's all of it. Like, like everything else in my life, it goes back to fucking Maddox. Um, <laughs> I had this. So I was. I had a live show planned in LA in like March, I think, where we were going to have a funeral for Maddox. I was, I I was going to have a big coffin. And everybody would come up and put like books of his and everyone would come up and read a eulogy and really like a shitty eulogy, right? Uh, <laughs> and, and then we'd have a roast. What? Like a roast. <gasps> yeah, yeah, a roast. A roast of a dead man. Uh, of, of someone whose career was dead because the character is dead, right? Um, but wow. but Maddox, so th the venue called me one day and said, your event's canceled. We found out it wasn't a comedy event at all. We found that it was a, a hate speech conference or something i said what are you talking about a hate speech? what's a hate speech conference like you think i'm having richard spencer and david duke and all we're i'm mexican first of all you idiot go look at this contract we just signed it's not a white name um <laughs> so a series of prank callers called the venue to complain like i said this on the show and their their yelp gets bombed which was uh uh, uh yeah which is awesome uh and then <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of prank callers hit them up, and eventually, one of them tricked the venue into admitting he pretended to be the city ump troller Steve Dan or something like that. That was his entire name, it, only a first name. He had no last name, uh, Steve Dan. And he got them to tell tell them that Ma a guy named Maddox had called the venue and emailed them over and over until they pulled my show. Um, wow. I forget. Oh yeah, COVID though. Uh, so I had to I had to move it at the last minute to this warehouse downtown that had no liquor license. And they said, oh yeah, don't even, don't even try to get one. Cause then they'll have to come in and, and review the code of this place. And it's not up to code either. So, uh, Oh, it's don't... a real death trap. Yeah. It's a real <laughs> death trap. So don't even try to get a liquor license. They already know that you shouldn't be having an event here. And I said, There's well, one exit I mean, and it doesn't work well. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to jail, I guess I should go big. Uh, <laughs> so, I set that up and like the a couple got a week before everybody had their flights and everything all canceled a, a, the Sunday before Newsom locked everything down. But up until that, I was like, wow, I don't know. This seems pretty serious. Maybe we should start washing our hands more and not like eat out of the out of the salad bar at soup plantation or whatever people do. Maybe we should do that. But then then they shut it down. And I said, OK, this is uh, just a uh, this is a blatant violation of of. How many amendments? First, the fourth, fifth. How many amendments are they just shutting? Surely people aren't going to get on board with this. And then it's been three months of me growing into like a growing into a more curtsian uh, heart of darkness state where every day I wake up with more uh, more loathing of my fellow man <laughs> for the amount for the amount of additional uh, restrictions that I have to go through every day being told preemptively that I'm responsible for the murder of my fellow the the tacit murder of my fellow citizens because I'm not protecting them enough from the invisible enemy that's all around us uh, I think that I think that China hoaxed their own country into getting rid of a bunch of political dissonance I think the virus is real but I think it's similar to a flu uh, I think that the U.S., everybody's terrified in the U.S. I think that the journalists and the people have been preparing for a war with Trump in some way that just hasn't happened in the last four years and got uh, the the uh, the uh, functionally retarded Joe Biden as their candidate 
are all just and and the people who don't want to work in America are all doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on the idea that this virus is dangerous to anybody who's under 79, which is the <laughs> average the average life expectancy of people in America <laughs> just to purposefully fuck over people like me who actually want to work. Like this is this entire thing, this entire ridiculous mess is a civil war from bums who sit on the couch and blue check marks and bums who sit on their couches and tweet all fucking day and people like me who just want to go to fucking work without getting bitched that. Um, I, I, I have not seen. And then, and then, of course, the studies roll in oh, every lab. Oh, how many how many tests did you have? Oh, 100 percent. We had 100% positive test rate. Really want to check on that? Just checked it. Actually, it was uh, 9%. So that's our bad. How many of you are there? <laughs> a, a couple hundred. A couple hundred. I don't know. And the hospitals, Why? what did this guy die of? COVID. Oh, uh, he's 85, and he's fat as a house. And he's fat as a couch, too. Does that have anything to do with it? Hey, man, we don't. you've got the governor of New York who's cramming old people into nursing homes like he's a frat boy, like he's a college <laughs> freshman trying to stuff a telephone booth. And you're telling, and children have to go to school. My girlfriend went from being gone 12 hours a day as a teacher to being home 27 <laughs> hours a day. And we are forced to live. <laughs> together for the first i am now properly living with a woman for three months and this is what it's done to me so if you're telling me that this that i am a danger to society because i won't wear a mask i have news for you i am a danger either way now this thing this lockdown has poisoned my mind irrevocably i can feel it like a like can feel it like mercury creeping up the back of my spine every day and trying to Chew out the back of my skull. It's driving me insane. It is a fucking hoax. And I will defend that till the day I die. Is that what you meant, Taylor? Yeah, that was what. Dude, that was such a good rant. I believe everything you said now. Yeah, so, that was good. That was what do you guys think? Uh, you know, uh, you, you really, the whole, she used to be gone 12 hours a day and now she's not. I can't imagine how difficult that's been for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to add more rooms onto the uh, house, and then yeah, I'm going to cut one off. So I feel we have like that's I'm, what she's a teacher, right? And you're claiming she worked yes. 12 hours a day. She was busted. gone 12 hours a day. Myth busted, Dick. Teachers don't work 12 hours a day. <laughs> well, Te teachers don't work any hours teachers a day. Teachers work <laughs> like four hours a day, tops. Oh my <laughs> gosh. She would leave in the morning. She's got an hour drive to work. She's got an hour Pilates. She likes to work out before work. Uh, and then she's got an hour drive home. It was about, I mean, I, I don't know. I, she'd get home Plus, at like four every day. Isn't this five, one of the like five, five months a year they don't work at all? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, now, but this has been going on since March. <laughs> and they're talking about not starting it up again, and I'm ready to blow my goddamn brains out. I'm going to go to school. Nobody's going to school. I'm going to go fuck. I'm going to get a sleeping bag. I'm living at school now. I'm going to be teaching a class to all the other members of No Ma'am. So, Dick, it's not even an American thing, though, right? Like, every epidemiologist and virologist on the planet seems to agree that we're having some sort of pandemic. You think that they're all involved in this hoax? I think that no, no, no. The hoax is that. So there's a there's a couple things that I think are are the hoax. Um, the lockdown, masks, um, masks these, are a hoax. Masks are masks are a hoax, and they've been back and forth on. Like at first they said they don't do shit. Um, no, don't it, buy it, them. It, 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 you know why they said that though, right? They they said that because they were trying to make sure that people in healthcare had masks before we did. Yeah, well, that's a funny thing about lying. If you if you just say <laughs> if you just say flat out, don't buy them because we need them for doctors. That's I believe you. If you say they don't work and we need them for doctors, I, I'm I like, all right, I completely yeah, agree. you don't get to take back both. You can right, take right. back the one. No, you're right. The initial statement from the World Health Organization was, "Don't buy masks; it won't help." The, well, the because the take. The, yeah. the WHO did a study, um, they, they released it last year, where they found that in an influenza pandemic, washing your hands, masks, and cleaning surfaces don't do shit. Like, mechanically, they will break down a virus, but in practice, the meta-analysis was they don't do shit. I mean, it's... Uh, that's, not, that's not even what drives me insane about it, though. It's the... Um, it's everybody's, like, armchair 
science take on why you're the devil if you don't didn't do you just it. do that yeah, i was like you're throwing <laughs> bullshit armchair scientists you just, oh. you just explained to me that mass and soap and something else i don't even know what else <laughs> Plain surfaces no that's Please. the who you can go go read the who report i'm just i'm reading what they put out i don't know that's what they, they said in the report um it doesn't hurt anything so we still recommend it but well. we don't have any science that says it works I, uh, I think that it is killing some old people, and I think that uh, I, I've seen some reports where it like really fucked up the lungs of some people. I also saw where the NFL had like 75 players that tested positive Crazy. this week. Um, uh, I'm going to keep washing my hands, wearing my mask, I think, uh, when I go out. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, but yeah, I think I, that... I think that they should send the kids back, but make them wear masks. And if the kid won't wear a mask, you send him home to his parents. And then the parents beat the shit out of the kid and put a mask on him. And I also think that if this virus was just a little bit more deadly, then this could kill all the stupid people. Like, like this could be uh, a great oh, thing. Wait, according to that theory, we're losing dick. I thought I, I thought it was a gift from God at first. If you recall, the virus is this is awesome. It wipes out everybody over sixty and people who are dumb too dumb to wash their hands. Thank you, God. I've been praying my whole life for this something like this. And then what do you know? The government shut that beautiful virus down. So with the te the testing really pisses me off too because we went from we went from being uh, as a society we went from fifteen days to stop the spread. Like we got to flatten the curve to well let's just keep everything locked down until it magically goes away which never happens like there's a flu season every year you can you can try to not get it yourself but you can't stop a fucking virus if you could stop a virus they wouldn't exist that's like their whole thing is that they can <laughs> just kind of creep you think a wall doesn't work but you think you think a mask will okay <laughs> You got you got that it. is a uh, cogent comparison. Yes, that is a salient observation. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I mean, walls and masks, it's apples and apples, the comparison right there. And thank you. <laughs> I thank will you. say, illegal immigrants are a lot bigger than the 0. 0.3 microns, right? Oh, you hush. some of them are small. Right. Well, you I know, I've seen these guys, they're smaller than Americans typically. <gasps> typically, are you in Los Angeles, Dick? Yeah, I am. Can uh, you tell? I, I, I am no, I am too. I am too, and uh, I could, I, I definitely hear the frustration in your voice because I, I had this frustration for the first. I, I, yeah, right. I, I, I had this frustration for the first month and a half to two months mm -hmm. here in because Los Angeles, like Los Angeles, is exactly the opposite of the way it should be. Because you, you come to the city because there, it's, it's busy. There's anything you can do. There's the beaches. There's the mountains. There's people everywhere. There's movie, you know, movie theaters, whatever, restaurants, and it's, it's now the shittiest place in the world. Like, it's like, it's the worst city to be in. I'm from Los Angeles. I was born and raised here. And yeah. it is no longer a place that you want to be anymore. And it sucks. It sucks. And so I, I hear that frustration in your voice very, why, very much. Why don't you want to be there anymore? Because it... Cause there's there's cause nothing, nothing to do. There's nothing you're to do. You're taking the it's entire it's, value it's, of it's, being in the city. What, what you're doing is you're paying, you're paying shitloads of money. And you're... Honestly, at this point, now I'm fighting traffic. Because there are people driving around. But you can't do anything. There's literally like you, you move to the city to do things, right? You move to the city to for the food and for the people and for the bars and for the movie theaters and you know for the surrounding areas and all that. None of it. I see. It's all gone. It, it was uh, on the Fourth of July. I I was driving to Santa Barbara on the Fourth of July because I was like, oh, I really want to go to the beach, right, for one fucking day. And all the signs along the freeway, all beaches closed, all beaches closed, and I couldn't. I was like, Are you fucking kidding? They, they're closing like thousands and thousands and thousands of square feet of beach where I can stand outside away from so many people because they don't, because they're, they're afraid that I guess people are going to stand all right next to each other on the beach. I don't know. It was just, it, it, it blew my mind and it made me very, very, very sad. Very sad. It's because chicks don't want to go out. They love this. They love sitting at home and posting on Instagram. And they don't want to have to go on dates again. So they're going to keep it locked down indefinitely. It. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I, I think quarantine life agrees with me, mostly. <laughs> you know, every so often I get out and I really, really like it, but I, I, inside's okay too. I Man, started I quarantining it. about four weeks before the pandemic. Mm. Oh, wow. So like in February? About that, yeah. That's when I discovered Tarkov. Escape from yeah. Tarkov, the oh. game. <laughs> and, 
I was <laughs> buying food in January. <laughs> like as soon as things started looking a little bit rough, really? wow. I was stockpiling. Yeah, I've been locked down for a while. Uh, Man, I hate I, it. I, I hate it. I can't stand it. Oh, I, this uh, is not best working from home. My quality of life has never been higher. It's awesome. Yes. I, I'm a, I have a home gym with my you know barbell and all my plates and everything. I the amount I of free time you have is unbelievable. It's fantastic. I, I, I don't I ever have, work. I, I have the home gym. I've had it for years. I've been working from home. I worked converted to work from home back in September. Um, but I'm still it is still driving me insane. It's like uh, I just it's it's weird. It's uh, I know everybody's taking it differently, so I can hear I can hear it in Dick's voice, and that's why I'm like I. I can sympathize with that with that feeling because I know how it feels. I yeah. like your references to like Dick. I can tell you're frustrated. Is it like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, that de-escalation doesn't work on me, FYI. I took no, no, de-escalation I'm... classes. <laughs> that specifically, I'm actually, I'm actually not trying to, to de-escalate you at all. Oh, I, I wasn't. I was uh, just kidding. What, what I interpret that as is this: like, you know what? I'm a good judge of body language, and I'm getting a I'm getting a <laughs> subtle vibe of frustration. <laughs> well, the thing is, is, like, I don't agree with all of everything that Dick has said, but also at the same time, like, it fucking sucks. I, not even I do. I don't, okay. I don't, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't agree with anything that Dick said. <laughs> You're getting very upset. <laughs> I mean, if you test more, there's gonna. If you test more, there's gonna be more positive results, right? You're gonna have more sick people if you test more. Can we agree That's with that? True. Can we agree on that? Can you, no, yeah, that, you, I was with noticed. you until you said more sick people. You'll have more sick. Re you'll have more positive tests, not more sick people. Yeah, that, that, but that's okay. that's not yeah. I think, infected with what people. he meant. Like you'll you'll find more infected people the more people you test. And what's like made me think like we actually are kind of over the curve with all this stuff is like the death totals are like in a lot of days like a tenth of where they were. There were times where we were having like yeah. two or three thousand people die a day a couple months ago. Now there's days where it's like three hundred and fifty. Even though it's like those days where three thousand people died, there'd be like thirty thousand positive cases. Whereas today there might be one the, the highest day was sixty two thousand. Florida's so obviously, blowing up. Florida's blowing up right now. They're about to fucking implode. But, but their all, their deaths aren't going deaths as, aren't, they're, they're Give not it going a week. in, in Give it a tandem fucking week. So their deaths that's, are going up. That's what they've been right. saying about the Middle East for 18 years. Oh, wait, Give it a week. Uh, hold I'll on, give it hold two on. Weeks. Their deaths are already <laughs> on the uptick. Um, but Taylor does have a point in that the deaths aren't as bad as they used to be. The mortality rate is dropping, and it's because they're treating it better. They used to think ventilators were the bomb. Now they're like, ah, ventilators tend to kill people. The bomb is steroids, and I guess it's important that you like flip them around, spend some time on your belly, spend some time on your back, etc. I, I don't know why that matters, but it seems to help based on what I saw. But yeah, so it's the treatments too. are improving, but that doesn't mean that I, I guess it means the disease is less deadly if they know how to treat it better. Yeah, you can see the it. cases. I just linked to you guys. You can see the cases exploding in Florida, and you can see that the death line is pretty linear. It's, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. put much stock in the counting ability of a Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a Georgian, so you have an inherent uh, agree uh, bias there. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're right next but, door. They're going to spill over into my state, and it's going to be fucking pandemonium. Yeah, because uh, Atlanta's been doing tremendous on their own. <laughs> because the governor won't let us wear masks like, like I mean, literally this, like this the is mayor pretty linear answer. taylor the the orange line yeah no it's like, you, well that orange line is misleading it's the total but go to the daily deaths they just opened fucking disney world it's the it's one gonna right below get it. so much worse i mean I, I, I think there's gonna be there's gonna be more cases and more deaths because they're opening more things up i mean like that's yeah you're just, right Rudy. you're right my bad on that one woody but the, most of these were bad people like this true, is true. <laughs> yes. I mean, why else would God I mean, kill them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like that take. <laughs> why <laughs> else would God kill them? Hold on. Now the door opens. You can't. That was my first God. take. Give me those fucking houses, Grandma. God's come for you. The black hole sun's <laughs> come to take you away. Give me that fucking house. <laughs> 